Now, uh, this Model T, uh, there were many, many different kinds, and it all has the same chassis. This one um, is a coupe, and uh, we have the top down right now, but it has the turtle trunk in the back. But this same frame, they also had a Model T pickup truck, and you also saw some other things. They had a Model T tractor, Model T snowmobile, Model T touring car, where this would be extended back and would have uh, two or three rows of seating in it. Um, but it, you'll notice that the car is very big, um, it sits high off the ground and these things will go through just about anything. When they first started coming on the road, there were uh, almost no roads to, to speak of. So this would have to get through the dirt roads, the snow, the ice, anything, and it'll do it. It's a very, very powerful car and extremely reliable. First thing you'll notice is there are three pedals on the floor and they don't work like your modern uh, transmission does. The furthest pedal to the left works as a quasi clutch. This pedal here is your reverse pedal and this pedal here is your engine brake. Uh, you'll notice this lever uh, to the side all the way back is a brake. In the middle is low gear and all the way forward is high gear. Now you might be wondering, well, where's your gas? And that's right here on the steering column. The Model T, this is one of the first years that Model T had an electric start and there's a kick switch uh, about down here, but you can also operate this vehicle, uh, start the vehicle rather, uh, by the crank in the front. Right here, you just pull up on this thing and good to go. The inside, very, very basic four cylinder engine. You'll notice right here there is a toolbox, and this came standard on all Model Ts. It's mounted to, uh, it's mounted to the car, uh, and inside you would keep your uh, handy gas gauge uh, right here, and. Also, uh, tools for a jack, uh, some spare parts like spark plugs, um, light bulbs, stuff to change a tire. Um, because uh, back then, uh, sometimes <laughs> you weren't able to bring it into the auto repair place. A lot of people had to do it themselves, so they'd keep a basic toolkit here to fix anything they might have needed to on the road. So, just for fun, on this Model T, uh, we've mounted two horns. Uh, we've got your classic horn that you'd hear back in the 20s. Uh, but then you can't have an old car without an Auga. Now, like I mentioned before, that uh, this car has an electric start on it, but before then, there were uh, no batteries in cars. And the way it would work to get spark to the engine was on a magneto, and it's this series of magnets mounted inside the transmission by the flywheel, these big bar magnets, and as they would pass by each other, they'd create a spark. And so I'll demonstrate to you how to start it by hand. First thing you want to do is you want to have the throttle out a little bit and you want to make sure that your spark is retarded. Um, if the spark is down like that you're likely for it to kick back and it could seriously hurt you. So make sure your spark is retarded and then you turn the magneto on and you're ready to crank it. Now the car is already warm because we've had it out already but this is your choke. Uh, just like a, your garden tractor would have. So let's come on over to the front. Now, in a lot of old movies, you'll see, you know, somebody taking this and, you know, spinning it around and around and around, and that's not how you want to do that. Um, and the reason why it could come back when it comes around and smash your hand. Another really important thing is the grip onto the crank. A lot of people, when they come and grab something, you see your thumb is around it like that. You do not want to do that. You want to place your thumb over the top like that and the reason that is because if it were to kick back um, if it were to come back this way and you're grabbed around it it would break your thumb so you always want to grab over the top like that so and you don't spin it all the way around all you need is a quarter turn
we've just gotten her started. So we've now increased the spark to make it uh, run a little smoother. And remember, you've got your throttle here, you've got your lever here, you've got your three pedals. So, the first thing you do is you're going to put the lever in the middle, and you're now in low gear. And to engage it in the low gear, you're going to hit this pedal here, this quasi clutch. So, we're going to give her a little gas. the throttle a little bit and we throw it into high gear and let off that clutch and away we go we're in high gear You sit on the gas tank, so you gotta take the seat out. Let's see right here. No fuel gauge on here. We have our trusty fuel gauge right here. See, we got. Oh, we're up to three here, maybe. A little less than a third of a tank. Uh, le less than half. We go by the one on the right. So we'll fill her up since we're going a long distance. 